Hello, everyone. Today, I will introduce you a very exciting research topic named the cost effective deep learning in medical image analysis. Deep learning is very popular recently. It has led to huge success in medical image analysis. Here, I show the workflow of how deep learning engage in the healthcare in the practice. So first, we collect the annotation from the hospital. And using this annotation and the medical images, we train the deep model. After training and the testing validation, we can eventually deploy the model to the uh, hospital and lead to a faster and more precise decision making. However, when applying deep learning to medical imaging, the most challenge is it requires huge amount of annotations. So what is annotation? Here I give some illustration for the disease detection disease organ segmentation, and the disease classification. So the radiologist have to tell the model where is the disease and how large is the disease, and also what type of disease appear in the images. So this is called annotation for each images. The recent literature shows to achieve good accuracy the deep learning requires more than 42,000 annotated CT images for a, a lung cancer diagnosis. And it requires more than 100,000 image, labeled images for a precise skin cancer classification and for diabetic disease detection. To move forward this limitation, we, our research goal is to promote a rapid and a precise computer-aided diagnosis system by minimizing the, this annotation effort. In doing so, we have devised three specific aims according to the pipeline. The first, we aim to acquire necessary annotation efficiently from human experts. And second, we want to utilize the uh, annotation more effectively by designing the advanced deep neural ad, uh, architecture. And third, we also want to extract uh, the generic knowledge directly from the unlabeled images to give the model a better starting training point. To achieve these three aims, we have uh, done some primary studies. First, we propose the human in the loop active learning procedure which uh, cooperate the human expert and the deep model together to uh, achieve a better performance. So here we show the random selection with the number of annotated data increase. Of course, the deep model accuracy will also increase gradually. However, with our active selection, which only selects the most significant patient to annotate, it will quickly achieve the comparable performance with less amount of annotation effort. Here the gap shows the uh, amount of annotation can be reduced by our method. Second, we have redesigned the neural architecture, deep neural architecture, to fully utilize the multi-level, multi-scale, and multi-resolution image uh, features, which lead to a more precise image uh, disease and organ segmentation performance. We call this architecture UNET++. And the UNET is the most famous uh, architecture so far uh, for the image segmentation. Compared with UNET, we, our UNET++ plus plus, uh, achieves significantly better, uh, perf higher performance in five different medical applications, including disease, uh, disease and organ segmentation. Finally, we have built a generic pre-trained 3D model that learn the uh, image representation directly from the unlabeled medical image and use transport learning to transfer this knowledge to different individual uh, medical imaging tasks and lead to a higher performance and at the same time faster training. So here uh, we call it model genesis. Compared with the, all the existing uh, public available pre-trained model, model genesis uh, outperform each of them in all five target tasks, including disease classification and the disease segmentation. So in conclusion, progress in this area of research will enable deep learning to algorithm to generalize better to the real uh, clinical data with the less amount of annotation cost. And thereby it will lead to a greater impact on the computer aided diagnosis on the disease classification, detection and segmentation. Thank you for your time.